Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are gonna be representing up to 120 objects with a written numeral. What does that mean? Well, students are gonna be given pictures of objects, groups of 10 plus some ones, and then they're gonna take that picture and represent it as a number, 114 or 93. So let's get started. So as I promised, here's a bunch of objects, and our job is to count them and place them in the value chart, uh, place value chart. And uh, so we're, we've got these bags of, I guess, peanuts, and there's 10, so that means each of these bags represents 10 peanuts, plus we have some units, uh, lonely peanuts over here. So we've got 10, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I love it when they put them in groups, five groups like this. This is not a five group. Bah. So uh, I love it when it's in a five group. So we've got five plus four, so that's nine tens that we see and that we see we have six ones because I see them right here, three and three is six. So we have nine, ten, six, one. So what is our, our number? Well, that happens to be 96. Same idea, only gets a little bit more complicated. When we look at our bundles of 10, we see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, plus another five, so that's 10. So we have 10 tens, so I'll put it right there. And how many ones? I love it. They have five groups. So I see a group of five plus a group of four. So that's five and four is nine. So we see nine here. So we have nine ones. So we have 10 tens, that's 100, plus we have nine ones. So our number is 109. Now, parents and teachers, this concept of having 10 tens, so a two-digit number in the place value here, that might be kind of like, oh, freaking you out, but that's a pre-common core way of thinking. Don't let it freak you out. 10 tens represents 100. You and I know it. Eventually, our students will, well, our, our students are in the process of coming to grips and understanding that now. And eventually, they'll understand that they could take uh, 10 tens and cash it in for a hundred. But that's later. Right now, we're really focusing on just these two place values, the tens and the ones. We're removing the pictures, and we're getting kind of more abstract. So this is just ugly base 10 blocks. We're going to count our 10 strips, and we see one, two, three, four, five up here, five down here. So we have 10 tens again. And then we can count. We see that we have five here plus two, so we have seven ones. So our number is 107. The idea is, parents, don't uh, uh, try not to say 107. Try and say 107. Uh, 107 fits with, uh, like, uh, like if I were to say this number, what is that number? Well, that's 23. We don't say that is 20 and 3, although that is true. 20 plus 3 is indeed 23, but we don't say the word and. We just say 23, and that's the same process with this number. We want this number to be 107. We're not going to say and, although technically that would be okay. I got to tell you, I love quick tens. I absolutely love quick tens. I did not know about quick tens when I was a kid growing up. As a mathematician, I got my degree in math. I love quick tens because it, it really makes explicit some of the tricks I was thinking about in my head, and now all students get to know these tricks. So let's take a look at nine. Question nine, I think, is more interesting than question eight. So we've got 10 tens plus we have five ones. What is our number that we're going to uh, write? Well, that's going to be 105. Now, if we really wanted to prove it, right, if we really wanted to prove it, we could 
draw um, uh, the picture. Like, uh, what would a picture be? Uh, we could say, uh, oops, let's do a can with the number 10 on it, all right? So I could say that, and then we could say, okay, let's take that number right here, and then we could uh, duplicate it. Let's see, we could say one, two, three, four, five, then I could take one of those numbers, right, this guy, and I can continue duplicating it. So we have five, and then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten tens right here. It's ugly, but it's ten tens right there. Ten tens, and notice I'm doing it in a group of five, five groups. All right, and there's my ten tens, and then we have five ones. So what would that look like? Well, five ones might look like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so if we wanted to, we could count them. We could say count by tens. We could do ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, hundred one, hundred two, hundred three, hundred four. 105. So there's our number, 105. 10 tens, 5 ones. And that wraps up kind of a fun one. First grade, module 6, lesson 9. We're continuing to count objects. Now we're representing it as that written numeral, trying to get away from that place value chart. And instead, we're going straight to that written number. Hey, by the way, do me a favor. Can you? <laughs> that's ugly. Can you guys please consider subscribing to my subscribing to my channel? Thank you.